Howdy folks, my name is Richie, aka Bogotter, and welcome back to another Albion Online video. In the first episode, we basically got our bearings, and uh, you know, we just started learning about the game. And I've played a little bit off camera, and since last time, I actually was able to uh, craft some new things. I'm going to show you. I'm in King's Market now, which is like the first town. We started over here. We just went down this road, and uh, I've actually equipped my character with a few things. I've got this novice leather hood now. And I've got leather armor, and I've got a novice broadsword. Everything's like tier one now. Novice beginner shield. All the actually these things are tier two. My shield is still tier one. I have tier two boots, and I got a cloak. And I actually have this ox, which is part of the legendary pack that I got. And this allows me to carry a lot of stuff. It's a mount. It doesn't really make me go faster, but if I bring it out here, you can see what it looks like. It's pretty cool looking. But that allows me to carry a lot coming back to town because I found out very quickly that ore and wood, they're, they're heavy to carry. So if you want to do a big farming mission, um, you know, you're going to need something like an ox. But the bad news is if I die, I will actually not only lose the equipment that I'm wearing, but I will also lose my mount. Okay, right now I have a, uh, a task here to... Uh, uh, basically harvest cotton and wool, which I haven't been able to do yet because I don't have a sickle. So I'm going to actually craft one here. It's going to take uh, nine of these uh, tier two logs and three of these tier two ore here. So we're just going to craft this puppy so that we can go and start harvesting some cotton and wool. Now, one of the other th cool things that I mentioned in the first episode is that you know this game is kind of sandboxy, right? You don't really, you're not really given a quest hub that's not really linear and there's no classes or anything like that there's no there's no even levels everything is revolves around the crafting of items and you can see here right in town i have uh this vendor here where i can craft uh, various you know weapons and shields and axes and different things and over here if my character would actually move quick enough over here you can see this is kind of like a mage tower and here I can craft staves and uh, tomes of spells. In fact, can I ca can I craft this? I don't have enough. No, I just used it to buy a sickle. But yeah, but so you, like, and then this one over here gives you uh, archery kind of supplies so that you can craft. So you basically tailor your character the way you want it, and you don't have to worry about oh, can I use this or can I use that? You can use anything. It just depends on you know what you what, how you want to play. So I'm fully equipped right now. You can see all my abilities around here on the right-hand side. These all come from the weapons I crafted. So I now have this Wither spell, which ignites all enemies around me and deals. Uh, it puts a damage over time effect on them. I can stun and deal damage with uh, this key. This one is uh, deals damage and reduces their movement speed. It's kind of like a hamstring effect. This is like a Sunder effect, doing damage and reducing armor. I also have uh, a heal. And I have a way to run faster. So we're going to jump out. And uh, it looks like it's nighttime. I don't know what kind of effect that has. But let's see if we can uh, gather um, some resources and work on these things. Now, if I look at my destiny board, this was the what I referred to in the first episode somebody pointed out to me. is the spider web of freedom. Um, <laughs> this is... Not This is like a bunch of tasks, and you can kind of branch out any direction you want. Uh, right now, my tasks are uh, mastery uh, craftsman, journeyman craftsman, craft any journeyman items worth 200 fame. Or I can go down this route, gather any tier 3 resources worth 200 fame. Or I can kill creatures with 60 fame wearing any journeyman's weapon. Um, and, and, and if I continue down this way, it's gained 350 in fame anyway. And, and you can see how this will spider web out into a whole bunch of different cho choices and options. All right. Um, so we're just going to continue, go outside, and uh, see what kind of adventures we can discover. That loading screen has some information on it. I never can read it because it goes by so quick. All right. So PvP combat is not allowed in this cluster. That's a good thing. All right, so we have to swap in one of our tools. If we want to gather this rough stone. All right, the rough stone doesn't give me anything, no fame or anything like that. That's just a tier one tree. Now, it does allow you to swap between the different crafting tools when you have that. Uh, so you don't have to switch from, like, an axe to a pick but if you want to swap 
from your weapons and stuff like that, well, then you'll need to. And you can see some of my abilities are still available to me while I'm wandering around. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't even see you there. Not sure how I can reduce the amount of space these things take up. The uh, tasks down here. So what kind of... That's still rough stone. What is this? There's iron ore. Okay, there we go. I get fame for that. Always use some iron. Alright, really what I'm on the look for out for is the cotton. The cotton. El algodon. Where's that? Okay, I gotta use my speed boost. I forgot all about that. There's some speed. We got what are these? Like houses? Can I go in these? I guess not. What does this say? Ah, okay. So this is a player-made um, structure here. It's basically a way for them to sell uh, real estate. So you can look at the access rights closed. Only you can manage the state. All right, so it's, right now it's it's private. Public, I can't change that stuff. But somebody puts this up, and they can kind of sell properties and stuff to other players. Guild Banner. So this is actually like somebody's house. You can see here, access rights is private. It's got five furnishings in it. There's one resident, nobody can attack. They can repair it, they can upgrade their house. So any, any of these buildings that you see out and about in the world, these are all player um, owned. And you can see here, they, they actually put things out here like this forge where players can come up and they can, you know, I could smelt my stuff right now, but the usage fee is 43%. Okay, so I'm going to actually give the owners, look, the owner of this crafting station has put a usage fee on this crafting station and uh, the taxes that it elicits will actually go to that player. So I'm not going to use this one. I'd rather use the one in town, which still has fees associated with it, but it seems to be lower than the ones out in the world. But if you're desperate and you really need to, it's an option. All right, all these look like player-made houses. We're going to try to get out of this little section here. So we can access some adventure. Just, I don't want to roam through a neighborhood here. I mean, it's nice and all. But I want to find the monsters and the elusive cotton. All right, see this up here? Equips best weapons and equips the next tool. So I can actually hit, what is it, Q, and just swap immediately to my weapons if things get dangerous, which is great. There's danger. Let's swap with the weapon, shall we? Now, there is a cooldown. You see, as I swapped the weapon, everything went on cooldown, so... If you can anticipate combat, it's better than just like to go in there like I just did uh, and have all my abilities immediately on cooldown, which is not cool. There we go. I caught a... Uh, I caught a bunny rabbit in the crossfire there with my AoE wither spell. Okay, and what letter is this? Is that, is that D? That is, that is D. The font makes it look like, is that an O? I don't know what that is exactly. Yeah, I know. He's angry. He's angry. I don't like it when they heal. Only I should be able to heal. So what is this? Oh, I don't have the tool. All right, let's, let's kill the bandits. Oh, sorry, bunny. That bunny was totally abandoned. So was this one. Oh, look out, archer. Oh, 
he had 120 silver. Alright, is there any more bandits? Yes, there are. I don't really want two of them at once. Yeah. Ah, not that key. Uh-oh. My energy is gone. Alright, I gained proficiency. Journeyman Adventurer Avatar unlocked. So you can actually... And I can, I can craft mounts now. And I can use bags. And I can do buildings. Anything else? Yes! This demolition hammer is good. For me to use. Oh, no more gongs? Alright, so I unlocked a new avatar. You can kind of switch your portrait as you unlock these. It's pretty cool. So I can look like this now. But no, no. I still want that. I want to look like my Guild Wars 2 character, my Norn. Oh yeah, very manly. It's very nice. Where is cotton? Is there any cotton in here? Oh, there. what is that? Is that a dungeon? Hmm. We shall go explore. If I can get out of the map. Let's go find that. That looked cool. I want that. I'll probably die in there and lose all my stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Can I get out away from here without you people attacking me? What? All right, we're going to kill this guy because he's in the way. You're totally in the way. Yes. How'd that go? Uh-oh. I thought that was going to... Did I aggro the fox? No. Seem okay. Oh, man. There's a lot of people guarding this. Oh, boy. We're going to die. Let's get out of there. Oh, there's cotton right there. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding about the cotton. Oh, I died. You know what? I was hitting F instead of D. Oh, no. This area. Oh, I'm naked, boy. Oh, God. This reminds me of EverQuest. Naked corpse runs. So, it probably behooves you to have a second set of, oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Ow. He's biting my buns! Sit! Stay! Heal! Now it seems like I'm immune to damage, oh now I'm not immune, I'm totally not immune anymore. I was, I was immune there for a little bit. I was just about to say, he's not doing anything to me, this is, okay, he did leash. Okay. Naked corpse runs. How am I going to get through those bandits like this? Yeah, so you, you probably want a second set of armor at your house. Now, I do have some materials um, back in town in my storage bank chest thing so that I could just start crafting it. Otherwise, you essentially start over. Like, every all the power of my character is tied to the equipment. Now, I've, I've unlocked things like the ability to craft tier three or tier, you know, re you know, access different resources, access different crafting patterns, and that doesn't go away. You don't lose that progress. But if you don't have the materials in your bank, then you can't craft the items and you're kind of sunk. So definitely a part of this game would be about giving yourself some insurance against what had just happened to me by stocking up and having a backup set of equipment which i didn't do but we're gonna see if this corpse run will work or not i think i have a certain amount of time to get my stuff and hopefully nobody stumbled you could see it on the map i can see this the bottom right there's like a little loot bag there but if i encounter any bandits or something i think i might be able to get this i hope i can get this should be able to get this. 
Don't respawn on me. And look, I, I passed Cotton right right there. I was like, that was part of what killed me. I'm like running away. I'm like, oh, look, Cotton. All right, here we go. Give me my stuff back. Put. Stop it. Get this off my screen. What is this trash stuff? I don't know what trash means. Trash is not useful. All right, we'll get rid of that later. There's my ox. So some of my... Oh, no, okay, here we go. I, I was like, some of my stuff got destroyed. Where's my shield? Is, is my shield gone? I guess so. All right. Do I have my sickle? I do. Let's put that on, because there's cotton right here. Oh, yeah! Oh, it's flax. Sorry. I guess you have to make it into cotton. That is... Maybe my headphones are too loud. Because that is a... Kind of a piercing sound effect. Now, I guess, yeah, all well, my stuff turned yellow in terms of durability. I guess that has, you take a durability hit when you die like that. Takes a while to get all of this. And wasn't that part of my destiny board? Which one was that? Part of the crafting. There's lots of different ways it goes. Get me out of there. I really wanted to see what was in that dungeon. But I am going to have to repair. Maybe get a new shield. I kind of wanted to try out the mage equipment. That seemed interesting to me. And I guess I'm going to need a bunch of flax, flax to do so. Alright, so let's grab that. Alright, is this the jerk that killed me? Definitely lost my shield slam skill. Alright, let's kill this guy. Okay. Here comes the cave up here. There is a dungeon here. Let's see if we can get in there. Cannot leave while you're in combat. I'm not in combat. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, out of nowhere, a thief. An assassin! An encroacher! Good thing he wasn't too tough. He just, like, popped out of the shadows. Can I harvest anything in here? Here's another one. He was a scout. He only got one shot off on me before I got to him. Not a good shot. Not a good scout there, dude. Oh, he does a lot of damage, though. This might be too tough for me. What did I get? Mark of precision. Used to craft specialized ranged weapons. I will take that. Thank you. I will enjoy it. I'm afraid to step in. This guy's gonna pop out at me. 
Oh, there's another one. He's level three. Oh, he's got a friend. Alright, let's see. Let's see what happens this way. Maybe I could sneak some quick treasure. That's a th level three mage. Alright, we'll try it. Oh boy, no. No. There's a lot of people around. Four silver for that guy. I'm totally gonna die in here. You know that guy's right. Oh. Whoa. What is that guy? Ah. Oh. Oh, I healed. Nope. And there's a wizard coming. Alright, he's going away. I gotta get out of here. We need to equip up before we take on something like this. But I, I, I didn't know there was dungeons like this. That's pretty cool. And we did uh, we did sneak that little object there. Alright, so we've experienced our first death. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to harvest some more flax around here. And head back to town. And then next episode, maybe I will show you crafting up some uh, mage gear. Ah, if I can get out of this camp alive. I might make some mage gear or maybe even a bow. And uh, we'll come back to uh, some place like this dungeon and we'll check it out together. So, this is Albion Online. There is a referral link in the description below if you want to check out the game. If you register for the game... Uh, to find out more about it. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. Ooh, I get to start at the dungeon. So, yeah, as I was saying, as I got myself killed, I'm gonna get myself killed again. Look, I got my little bubble on now. Oh, you can't hurt me yet! I bet this is gonna wear off really soon, though. Where's my stuff? Wow, this place is crawling. Yes. This is amazing. My corpse is still out here. And I have now gone back to town and re-equipped myself with some of the Founder Pack items that they gave me. Uh, legendary hat and different things. And But I have a cruddy beginner's broadsword and a beginner's shield. And I was only able to make an axe here um so i'm gonna need to try to get my stuff back so this is the adventure to get back what was mine and hopefully not lose all of this other stuff that's mine in the process so we gotta get across the river here can i get across i just want to jump across there they don't seem to want to let me do that do they all right here's a bandit I don't have that neat fire spell anymore, but I've got some defensive stuff. Like a regrowth spell. So you can see I'm killing things a lot slower. But I should be fairly resilient. I thought a protective style build would be good for a corpse run. We got two of them at once here. This could be a little problematic. All right, come on, we can do this. He's healing. We've got heals too, though. There we go. All right, no worries. Rather not take on two if we can help it. This guy's got a bow, though. Gotta be a little careful there.
Go! Kill the archer! Make him pay for his rangedness. Bunny! Sorry. I don't know why I apologize for that. One of my sons used to have a hard time with any video game that allowed you to kill like little critters like that. It's like, don't kill the defenseless creatures, daddy! But now he's uh, a little bit older. He's gotten over that. Now it's fair game. Now he understands that sometimes you gotta take out your frustrations. Oh! Do you see that? My stuff is gone. Did I take too long or did somebody else loot it? Oh, well that's, that's just poopy. Now I must make them pay. I lost my ox. You made me lose my ox. I wonder what how much time you've got before you have to get back there. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting my stuff back, so I guess I'm going to need to start gathering and re-equip myself. I'm going to do some gathering and stuff uh, while away from the camera. And uh, for next episode, we'll probably make a bow and some mage stuff. And uh, that way we can try out some different spells and abilities and maybe even try out a dungeon. So I'm going to do that off camera, and uh, I will see you guys next time. There is an, a referral link down below in the description. If you are interested in registering for this game or perhaps even buying one of the founder packs, uh, using my referral link down below helps support this channel directly and I would greatly appreciate it. Hope everybody has a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Take care.